By the end of this video, you're gonna have a step-by-step -step guide on how you can legally reuse other people's content so that you never have a post flop on YouTube ever again. Because the only reason that you're not getting views right now is probably because there's no precedent for success for the post that you're creating. And what I mean by that is you didn't go through and take a title, a script, a thumbnail, the tags, and even the exact video that somebody else did that already saw success within your niche. And as a result of that, when you upload your content to YouTube, from YouTube's perspective, it looks like there's no precedent for something that did well. And if you don't know how YouTube works, it's all based off of past watch history. So essentially what happens is people log into YouTube and YouTube then loads up their feed with content that's similar to the past content they watched the last time that they were on YouTube. So if you're not creating content that looks like that by legally reusing other people's content, that's why you're not getting views right now. And at the end of the day, once you create the perfect title, use the perfect tags, and even use the perfect script and perfect video that somebody's already uploaded within your content, you're gonna see your views skyrocket like they're about to right now. So in order for you to create the perfect title when it comes to your YouTube content, come up with the perfect topic, here's what I need you to do. Step number one, you need to list out four to five other creators within your niche, and then you need to make sure that you have ChatGPT4. From here, I'm gonna give you a prompt that's going to tell you exactly what to do, and it's going to come up with the titles and the topics for your own content. All you have to do is run this script for four to five of those different channels, and boom, you're gonna have tons of different content ideas, you're gonna know exactly what titles to use, you're even gonna know what length to create your video, so let's dive in. So here's exactly what you need to do. Step number one, you need to take the script that I have up on the screen here, you need to copy this, and then you need to paste this into GPT-4. By the way, this works best for GPT-4. I haven't tested this with GPT-3.5, but I bet it's probably not gonna give you as good a result. So from here, you need to type this in here, and then essentially what ChatGPT is gonna ask you for is it's gonna ask you for the niche that you're interested in making content in. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna tell it that I wanna make content I'm gonna say, I want to make content about how to grow on YouTube. Now from here, it's gonna spit back a little bit more information. Now what we need to do, we need to go to each one of our competitors and we need to actually scrape their content. All that requires is doing something like this. And you can't go back as far as humanly possible, but I would recommend going back about at least three to four months. So from here, I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna come back to ChatGPT and then this is going to run. But in the meantime, I wanna show you exactly how we're going to do this. You're gonna do this for each of your competitors. I have three of mine up here right now and you could do this both for long form content or you can do this for shorts content and then essentially what you're going to want to do you're going to want to create a document and you're going to want to put all the information that ChatGPT is about to give you into this document so from here it's breaking everything out it's reformatting the data it's showing me the top three most viewed videos it's giving an analysis so for example what length the video should be historically well performing themes and it's suggesting new topics so from here i'm going to want to copy and paste all of this i'm going to want to put this into my content research and essentially what we're looking for here is these different topics that they suggest that we do and it even scored it so that we know which one of them is going to be best and then based off of that you then want to go do that for your other two or three competitors and then you're going to have a list of 15 and from here you can ask ChatGPT which one they recommend that you do from those 15 different videos. Okay, so from here we have five to 15 different title ideas that we have depending on how many competitors you looked at. And from here, we know that these topics are going to work. We know that the topics are gonna to work and the length that we're gonna be creating content for them is going to work simply because it's worked for our competitors. And so long as we can create a video that's as good as theirs, guess what's going to happen? We're gonna get the same amount of views or we could even end up getting more views because YouTube already knows that there's an audience for this content. So they're gonna to wanna to push our content out even further so long as we write a good script for that content. So now what you need to do is you need to open up a new tab and you need to come to youtubetranscript.com. From here, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna take one of the titles that you ended up going with and you wanna type it into YouTube. For example, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use how small channels can use YouTube shorts for explosive growth. And yes, I know that this is gonna work because most of my competitors make content about YouTube shorts. I've done this myself and it always gets views every single time. And there are a lot of small channels that wanna use YouTube shorts to explode their growth. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna come over to YouTube. I have that title. I'm gonna type it into YouTube. And essentially what I'm gonna to wanna to do, I'm gonna to wanna to find several different videos that were made on this topic. And like I shared with you earlier, this can work both for shorts 
or it can work for long form content. So if I'm looking for a long form video, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and I'm gonna find this video right here by TubeBuddy. And essentially what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I am gonna to wanna to take this URL right here, I'm gonna come over to YouTube Transcript, I'm gonna to type it into here, and I can see right here that it literally just gave me the entire transcript. Now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with this, with the content research, except you might wanna open up a new document. From here, you're going to type this entire transcript in and it is going to tell you exactly what you need to say in your video after we run it through today's video sponsor, HubSpot. Because HubSpot just launched their Paragraph Rewriter AI tool. And essentially what it's gonna do, it's going to rewrite any text that you give it. Now we can't just use the same exact script that our competitors gave us, but if you go to the pinned comment below and sign up for free today, you can use this new tool to completely rewrite their script and it's gonna create a better version of that script for you to use word for word in your video. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your competitor's script that we just got, you're gonna plug it into this new tool and it's going to rewrite everything about it. Now my favorite part about this tool is it's literally gonna save you hours and hours of work so that you could spend that time doing the things that you actually like and not scripting out YouTube videos because personally, I spend one to two hours every single video that I create scripting out the video and now I don't have to do that if I use HubSpot's tool and the same thing can be a reality for you. On top of that, because the source of this content was an actual successful YouTube video, you know that your content's gonna do a good job also because AI is just going to rewrite it and create a better video script for you. So what are you waiting for? Go to the pinned comment below and sign up today for free so that you can begin using this tool today and saving hours every time you create videos. So from here, you have the title for your content, you have the script from your content, and now you're probably wondering how you can actually legally reuse somebody else's video. And there are essentially two ways that you could do this, but it all comes down to fair use copyright. Essentially what you need to be doing is you need to make sure that you're altering their video, you need to be adding something to their video, you need to be changing their video, or you need to be commenting on their content. And there are several different ways for you to do this. For example, this creator right here does an amazing job of giving a lawyer's take on other people's content and things that have gone wrong or gone right. Or these people here that show you how to edit like Mr. Beast or show you how to edit like Iman Gazi or show you how to edit like Ali Abdal. And the way that they're able to do this is they show short clips, five seconds long, and then they show you exactly how you can do this. And they're able to get away with using other people's content because it was altered, it was edited. They're commenting on it because if you're not doing one of those things, when you reuse somebody else's content, that's going to be the reason that you're getting a copyright strike. That's going to be the reason that they're eventually going to come after your content because if you didn't know how YouTube works, YouTube actually has a really good detection system for this. In fact, I can go through and literally see everybody that's reused my content, see how much of my content they've reused and how much of it makes up their piece of content and then I can go after them for that. And the same thing is going to happen if you're not altering other people's content because once you alter it, it's gonna be harder for them to go after you because you'll be following the Fair Use Copyright Act. Now this brings me to the last, but arguably the most important part of this video, which is that you need to make sure that you're providing YouTube with the right metadata. If you do not give YouTube good metadata, they're not gonna know who to actually push your content to, and as a result, you're not going to get views. You can use the perfect video, you can use the perfect script, you can use the perfect title, but if your tags and your description are off, it could also be the thing that's preventing you from getting views right now. So when it comes to your description, you need to simply write one, two, three sentences about the video. Ideally, it should contain the keywords that you have within your title, and within your script that you're trying to rank for on YouTube or that you're trying to have YouTube use to identify what audience they should actually push your content to. And when it comes to your tags, not talking about hashtags here. I'm talking about the tags that you need to upload from either a mobile device in your studio or from a computer in your YouTube studio. And essentially what you wanna do, you wanna fill up 450 to 475 characters and you want it to be one to four word phrases that accurately represent the video or things that people are going to be interested in. And please, do not then go and put these tags within your description. This looks like spam and it's going to hurt your views and I strongly suggest that you don't do that. I see a lot of bad advice out there on YouTube that you should be doing that. On top of that, there are five other things that you need to make sure that you're not doing and I described them in this video because they're all outdated myths that so many small accounts are using right now and it's destroying your views. So what are you waiting for? Watch this video right here so that you know you're not making these mistakes.